actually forgot to show my nails, but this is the end result. Isn't it cute? I just love marble, guys. You are so nice. Mm. If you follow me on Instagram, you obviously saw a better like picture or visual of this, but it's so gorgeous. Look at the detail. Muscotza! 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 Muscotza isn't looking. <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 Miss Kotsa. <laughs>
I know I, I usually fail to commit to my videos. Oh, well, <laughs> commit to my videos. Um, obviously, you saw the clip of me in cotton on, like waiting in line to fit on what I had and whatever. But I never showed what I got. And I don't think in the clips I showed what I wore that night. But I'll show now. I got like four items and the sneakers, which you did. So, but I'm going to show it again. So, I just want to show what I got. I got it on. Um, it all was on sale. And uh, even though I wanted to take everything I tried on, I I had to select what I was going to go for. I had to leave the blue hoodie. I had to leave that camel colored crop top, which I love. Because I just told myself, you know what? I don't need this right now. I have a nude bodysuit still that looks the same. It's just, it's not a crop top, it's a bodysuit. So I have, um, what I got was the cargo pants, because obviously I went there to go look for cargo pants. So I got the cargo pants. The uh, beige one didn't fit me, so I had to take the black one. Um, the beige one, they didn't have um, the size that fit me. So I took the black one and then I got a I chose the crew neck instead of the hoodie and then I got the two t-shirt crop tops I was like t-shirt I mean like the design over here yeah also I'm wearing a bonnet because I'm wearing a swirly stocking under this and I just want to look like that for the vlog so I just put my bonnet over it but let me show you this and then I can end the video okay so this is the cargo pants focus you will notice it's a bitchy dirty there so because i haven't washed it since that night i'm not gonna do washing tomorrow um yours obviously like the pockets the side pockets of the cargo pants it has pockets here as well and what i really like is it doesn't have a button it has like this like this what do you call it slide in type of maneuver and then um the the it was very um long and i had to ask mario's mom to um take in i don't know if you can see this but she had to like take it in at the bottom because i'm so short but you know wherever my waist fits i need to take it and i can always just come up with a solution for the length yes right and here are the two crop tops it's obviously identical these are the only colors that are available i obviously took the black one until that i saw the sign that said take two for Sophia Rand and I was like okay let me look for another color and then they just had the brown okay so as you can see only the black one has a label because I wore the brown one um Saturday evening but yeah so these are the two identical crop tops and yeah it's quite it's like tight fit and whatever but it's fine because obviously I'll wear it with like oversized pants so yeah and then the last item is this very basic very plain um crew neck also from cotton on uh so yeah it's quite comfy i was like i put the blue hoodie on and i was like trying to see the vibes and i was like you know what Anosh? you have a lot of blue clothes you wear a lot of jeans already because i'm obsessed with jeans and so i was like you know what take the red crew neck it goes with black it goes with brown it goes with but i just you know actually no that sounds wrong but anyway i just took the red because i was like i haven't i don't have a red winter item so i took this instead of the blue hoodie but yeah if you've been to cotton on in the last like two months you will know that these crew necks sweatpants and hoodies have was so expensive it was like 500 600 and again it's because you are not sports scene you are not a night shop what is the matter and then when i went to access park i saw there was a sale and i was like yes i think i got this for 250 guys you bargain when bargain I mean, obviously, the last item is the pumas that I got. As you can see, it's a bit out of shape because I wore them. Um, I've just worn them once so far. This actually has a very funny story, but let me tell it to you. So, the story of the pumas. I was in the puma shop. That was the last store with sneakers. And I was like, if I don't find something that I like here... I'm going to go back to foot gear and just take the flippin' Converse Chuck Taylors that were going for like 9 50 I come to Puma and remember I was on a budget me. I was like, I'm not going to take shoes like over 1k because I already spent a lot of money at Cotton On and Factory. Um, I bought something else at Factory for, for someone else. But anyway, um, I go in by the Puma shop, blah, blah, blah. And I'm looking, I'm looking. There's some nice things that I see. 
and um, I'm trying to go for something different because I was attracted to a pair of white pumas and I was like, no, no, sure, really have all white pumas. Like, what is wrong with you? Use your mentality. And just, like, I'm like, what's going to be wrong with you? Because I always say, I don't care if my shoes get dirty, I'll just buy a new pair. <laughs> but I'm a gangster like that. So anyway, I'm walking and I see this little family standing and this mother has the shoe in her hand, like the one on display and she has it. I'm like, oh, that's so nice. And as I want to go to her to ask her like where she found it, like where, which shelf she found it on, she was walking back to put it back on the shelf and I followed her. You vibes. And I followed her. And when she walked away from the shelf, picked up the shelf, I was like, this is so nice. Because it looks so nice. It looks so cute. It looks so ladylike. I love it so much. And yeah, so I tried it off. I had this guy, because I was like looking around, because obviously like the shelves are back like way up there. And then um, this guy comes to me and he's like, you need some help? I was like, yes, please. And he gave me a three, I fit it once. Okay, I was like, yes, honey boo boo. Finally found Puma shop was my last hope. Took it. Mm, it was like one, two something. I think it was marked down with like a couple hundreds, I think. But I was like, you know what, I really like this. And you know, you expect a Chuck Taylor to be like a little less than a thousand rand. So took the Pumas. I can always go back for Chuck Taylors. You know, Chuck Taylors is always around. I don't know if I would get another woman like this, man. You know what I mean? Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna end the video, yo. Mm. I think I know where we're going. Where are you going? This morning, I guessed Kilani. Am I right? Huh? Mm -mm. It's Kilani now. And if it's not Kilani, then it's Kayla's dad's thing. I'm right. No. I am! <laughs> through most music I'm right? Through your requests, no. your downloads, it's everything gets thrown into the algorithm. It's like a cauldron of music excellence and it churns out am I wrong? this particular show where you and I spend some time together. No, you're lying. I'm right. As well as meeting Just say I'm right. You're wrong. Seriously? Yeah. Because I guess Kilani, I was like, Brandon doesn't like outdoor activities in rough, in weather that's not appropriate. Yeah, but we don't know if it's going to be like this. I thought it was going to be air windy. So it's not, Brandon, is it not the race car thing? Nope. Oh, wow. Okay, wait now. Okay, now I'm excited. Because <laughs> what the heck? Because I was like, you would never do outdoor activity. The only thing you would do is something you would also really, really enjoy. And I was like, it must be Kilani. Going fishing. Then, huh? We're going fishing. Excuse me? We're going fishing. Wait, so we're going to the beach. So we're going fishing. For real? Yeah. Like actually. Fishing, yeah. I'm gonna script me in my own. Uh... What did I tell you guys? I told you Brandon can't keep a surprise for long. He would tell me in the car. Even if I guess right or wrong, he must tell me in the car. And I was gonna see how long you can hold out. So fishing. Fishy fishy fishy. Yeah, first, first one. First one for Isis. Yes. Yay, that's so cool. That's just in Brandon Lyle is not fishing. I was right, Rukilani. Not lie. And we're not even out of the area now. We're still leaving the area where I live. I'm not lying. I'm trying to be romantic. This was not romantic. We are going to to Kilani. I was right. I guess right. My instincts were right. Kayla status. Well, status. Thank you, Kayla. Kayla status. Just Kayla. confirm my guess. I still would have guessed it, baby. Kayla, thank you. I forgot about Kayla's dad thing, but I just thought we're going to Kilani, and you know I don't mind Kilani. Kilani's like, oh, there's food trucks. Yeah. I brought my own wallet. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'll buy my own food. You can say that long line.
lunch time. Got burros and chips with chili sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Move the party here. <laughs> we were gonna leave now. Ben is like, ah, the stage is gonna start. Let's stay. Morning. Okay, Emma, say Jalandoti. Say it, Dotty. A Jalandoti. A say it, Dotty. A say it, Dotty. A Dotty. It's a party. Just made some sausage and scrambled eggs and toast. Come eat. Come, get food, come. Monday, part of the long weekend. Um, I stopped filming yesterday because I was so busy and I was, my body was, not my body, but like my feet was sore. So, um, I stopped filming as soon as I was done with the kids. Um, I made lunch and I didn't even record that or record what I made. And it was just a very busy day and I was busy with my laundry. So yeah, I let, let my laundry hang overnight. Because I, I was done too late yesterday. So I let it hang overnight. Now I'm going to take it off. Anyway, so the plan for... Wait. Stand on a better spot. The plan for today is... What is today's plan? I just finished washing Emma. Erin went home last night. I finished getting Emma ready now. I'm just brush her hair. Like, it, it looks decent, but obviously, like, she woke up like that. So, I'm going to take this washing off the line. I'm going to... I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna brush her hair, and I'm gonna get dressed, and then we're gonna go to the mall, and then, um, I need to get 
two pairs of pants for Emma. Basically, like just some essentials because she's starting crash. Um, some essentials like a lunchbox, a bottle, a bag, and all that stuff. So I'm gonna get that. And then I'm meeting Nikita today. Well, actually, she's fetching us with a driver, or whatever. So then I'm gonna meet. Not meeting. We're gonna go together, and then um, we're gonna get those things for Emma, and then we're gonna have like I think we're gonna go for pizza for lunch. Um, and then yeah, we'll, I'll come back home. I'm, Emma has to be dropped at home, but I'm gonna come back home, and then I don't know. I might make. Another video, I don't know, a smack to do a funky makeup look. I smack it so bad. I just need to like get the get the energy together, man. It's always such a loss. But I'ma get into it. Okay, we're ready. Yeah, just black on black. And oh, this cutie stop it. Look here. Bruh. Bruh. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.